Rui, Josh Robbins with The Athletic. Uh, what were some of the highlights for you from this experience? Um, yeah, of course, it was the games, you know. We played two games in here. Um, uh, there's a lot of people who came through. And, you know, just play in front of these fans and the Japanese fans, you know. It was a, it was a very special moment for me and this, this team and this country. So, yeah, it was a whole, like, you know, this whole trip was, you know, special, different. You know, it's just a uh, great experience for me and this team. So, yeah. あの、日本語で給食です。テレビ朝日のバスケ5です。あの、昨日その八村選手にディナーを招待されたと思うんですけれども、何を食べてどんな会だったんでしょうか。So yesterday, uh, we heard that really brought you guys to our dinner. Uh, what did you guys have and uh, how was the whole experience? Uh, it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, that was actually Friday at night, I think after the game. And uh, it was great. The food was amazing. I don't know how many courses, seven course dinner. Um, and it was great to spend some time with the team off the court and build some chemistry. Was there something specific that you remember that you ate? Uh, we loved the Shaba Shaba. Shaba Shaba. <laughs> Second row on the left. Go ahead, please. Hi. Uh, you've just started playing with Monte Morris, but it looks like you guys have a pretty good connection already on the pick and rolls. How do you feel that chemistry is coming along? Yeah, sure. Um, he's an experienced player. Um, reads the game really well and we kind of talked about the situations that we're going to be in and uh yeah we're, we're starting to build that chemistry reading each other just knowing and um, knowing the read just by looking at each other and uh and tonight we had some some moments where where we clicked and and i think it's only going to get better going forward go ahead josh chris stops uh, you're you're no stranger to traveling long distances and then getting back into the swing of things. How challenging do you think it will be to readjust to East Coast time and be at your best as a team? Uh, I don't know. We, uh, I think, of course, we have to do the right thing and, and try to get in the rhythm as soon as possible. Um, but we're all young. We're all you know, athletes. And I think we'll adjust back to DC time pretty quickly. And we have enough days until the next game also. So it shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be an excuse going forward. So we'll get there, get back to work, and and come back for the next game. First row on the right, Ava. Go ahead, please. Okay, hey, Ava Wallace, the Washington Post. Um, what was your main takeaway just from the entire four days here? What do you feel like you got out of the trip? I think we we got to experience the culture a bit, you know, and and also what stuck out to me was uh, how they support basketball here. The reactions are a bit different. For example, during uh, timeouts, I mean during uh, free throws, uh, it's silent. You know, they're they're really respectful, uh, which is a bit different than um, than what we're used to. And that was really nice to see. It's a different crowd, and and uh, but you could feel the passion. You could feel that they really enjoyed the game and supported both teams every play. And uh, it was it was it was a great experience. Hey, Wes Abel Wallace, the Washington Post. Um, do you have any idea how bad uh, Corey's Sprain, not yeah, sprain is. Uh, not yet. Um, I, I just walked by him, and there, there's some swelling, but I don't want to answer in official capacity until the, he gets a thorough examination. Um, and we'll see. You know, obviously, it's a long flight home, but treat it in the air and, and see how he responds the next couple of days. Um, now that you've had kind of two looks at him, what stood out to you from Monte's totality this weekend? I think he's been solid. You know, he, he does a lot of good things for us, you know, as far as keeping us organized. Um, you know, he's, he's got a great sense of what's needed in the moment. And I think I, I know I've talked to you about it, but he has a good job of, of getting guys shots um, when they need it, um, you know, managing time and score. Um, and defensively, I think he's done some good, job, some good things as well. See, we're on the right. Zach, go ahead. Uh, Coach, um, you addressed this a little bit uh, in pregame, but I think you guys have eight days before the next game. What is this upcoming week going to look like for you guys? Well, a couple of days of rest, um, obviously. Um, get back into the gym Tuesday. Um, and, you know, guys who need treatment, um, get it. You know, some guys, you know, some of our younger players need a little bit more time on the floor. But ramping guys up to be, uh, to get ready to compete, you know, in a preseason game and knowing we only have two preseason games left. So we really have to kind of get into high gear at some point for the next four to five days, um, knowing that that window for preseason is, is, is closing. 
And uh, as far as Rui, he had 10 rebounds today. Uh, what did you think of his rebounding over the last two games? It's, it's been good. Uh, obviously, good night tonight. It's, it's, it's something that we've preached with him over the summer. It's an area for, uh, of improvement uh, with his size, strength. Um, I think he can be impactful uh, on both sides, offensive and defensive rebounding. And he's shown when he's able to defensive rebound, he's, he's capable of pushing and playmaking in the open floor, attacking the rim and uh, with, with such a big body. He uh, can be really effective in that area. Front row on the left, Josh. Wes, Josh Robbins with The Athletic. How productive do you feel like the eight days since you started training camp have been in ter on the court? Um, I th I'm, I'm pretty satisfied outside of those last eight minutes um, this afternoon um, where we are. Um, I thought we did a lot of good things today, but um, overall I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, as far as fast tracking, some of the areas that uh, we needed to um, con concerned from, from last year, defensively, I think we're in a better spot with the hand activity uh, causing deflections. Um, I think our ball movement has improved. Um, we still struggle to make shots, and I think that's just a rhythm thing, but we're creating some good looks. So all in all, I think it's been a solid week and a half, week to 10 days. In terms of chemistry, how do you feel like this team is coming along compared to eight days in last fall? Uh, I, yeah, I think that's a was a big point of emphasis for us this summer was you know addressing you know that dynamic. Uh, certainly, when you have so much turnover as far as where we were midseason till now, we we have a different looking roster, and um, with so many moving pieces, it's going to take a little time for guys to you know kind of figure it out and coalesce. But, you know, I think with the windows we've had this summer, this fall, guys have been in the gym together. Um, it's, it's, it's been good. I, I think they're really just starting to feel each other out, uh, get a sense for, you know, each other's games and how they fit. But, um, you know, on and off the floor, it's been uh, kind of a, a good thing to see. The guys are enjoying being around each other, playing together. And I think that goes a long way. Second row on the left. Go ahead, please. How valuable do you think this experience has been for your players, and what do you think they've gotten out of their interactions with Japan and Japanese fans here? Well, I think all in all, they really enjoy the experience. You know, obviously, Rui is a big piece of that. Um, I think they they've kind of rallied around him, and, and he's been you know, kind of a bright spot. His, his personality is showing more and more. He's home. He's happy. He's excited to be here. Um, and just the the, well, the warm welcome that we've received um, since the moment we touched down. Um, that's, that certainly makes the trip, um, you know, more, more enjoyable. Uh, of course, the opportunity to get out, uh, explore the city, kind of see some of the sights, um, enjoy the dining options, and you know, so all of it, you know, combined. I know it's a very compressed schedule. Um, well worth it.